afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting Fabulous Under Castle. Me, your host, Imperial Dane, Master Propaganda, Hero Strike Defender of the Fatherland. Of here to an exciting one versus one. On Fame will approach between the South, we got Caesar, fighting for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland, rolling out here with the 10th Panzer Division. Versus the North, we got Ragnar Lothbrok, fighting for the Soviet Union, Socialism, Comrade Stalin. Holding line here with the 213th Rifle Division. And we've got here Lightning War, Mobile Defense, and Jaeger Infantry with Dublin with the Panzerfaust versus Lend Lee, Scout Rifle, and Shock Rifle Frontline Texas with Infantry, Mortar, and Tank Bulletins here for Ragnar, who's going here for a double conscript build versus Grenadiers, and you for two here for Caesar. Standard stuff for both players. We can see Senior seems to aim here for the Southern Fuel Point as he's wiring off here to protect the Cough Point against any meters of lockdown. Or pins, but in this case, we can see Ragnar's also aim for them. We'll be trying to sort of actually keep him from moving too fast here. So Caesar might already be forced to sort of switch his plan to rotate towards the northern fuel point. Or he could try and barge his way through here with raw force against Ragnar. But the will slow him down, of course, be fighting already here quickly on Ragnar's terms. We'll see what Caesar does. We've got a third conscript there for Ragnar, who's aiming for a lot of infantry. Could very well sync up here with Gart Raft combined arms, which really benefits from a lot of infantry. Lend Lee's uh, less so, we can still work with it, and uh, Shot Rifle well, does the least, but you know, doesn't perform poorly with it either, obviously. We got Contra there surrounding the Gun Lee, so that's going to force Caesar to fall further back. That's going to mean a lot of free hits. You should have probably waited for an M4 to support here. We got the Pioneer Singh Northfoot's M4 sitting up here to support the Contra there. Go, Gun Lee's vaulting over, and the M4 2 arrives here to save the Gun Lee, preventing further losses as Dietrich there is already dead. We got the second Gun Lee score there, almost done here for Caesar. For Germany. Sandbags up. They help protect the fuel pump from any meat harassment. Constantly falling back there. We got no upgrades yet here for Ragnar or additional infantry. MD4 sitting at the central victory point. We can see that Cease is pushing ahead. And again, ensuring all of his units are actually doing something against Ragnar. Fuel point there. Almost secured. Wiring off here. But the pioneers are spotted. Will he just try and push straight for the fuel point? Will he try to delay here? What will Caesar do? There's a lot of options for him. And there you go. Fourth Contra on the way. And the Pioneers, shots being exchanged across the sandbags. The Pioneers, though, are not favoured to win this. And this is clearly just a diversion, a holding operation here for Cease to stall the Russians for as long as possible. How is he expecting us to do this with only MP40s against rifles? For damn to high command. But there you go, hitting the calf point and then pushing towards the south here. There's going to need some more support to really pull that one off. Now he's shifting back the MD42, trapping right now. And there's certainly a lot of options here for Caesar. Now seems to be speeding up in a lot of directions, meaning his force uh, strength is going to be a bit watered down if he's not careful. There you go, I'm shutting up here in the Gutsch Conscripts. That's it, getting the point. Neutral Sandbag's almost done, but they're going to be caught out in the open. Ah! Just suppress the nick of time, but still, there's going to be some time here. Can these against the Conscripts here, holding up point here as well, being assaulted by Conscripts from another side. A lot of action going on here, a lot of fighting across several points. Certainly a lot of management here for Caesar and Ragnar both. Trying to bait the country out in the open. There we go. Nice move there. But Cease successfully pulled that one on Ragnar. Getting a free kill. Then the conscripts were now trying to grab out the point. And there you go. Just retreats. Realizing that's not going to work out anyways. And the South Pioneers rushing in. Looks like he's not quite paying attention. But there you go. Northern fuel point being resecured by Caesar and the German army. MD4 up to protect the cover point area here. And we got medics on the way there for Ragnar. In the base here, we got no take up yet for Caesar. Instead, we got a fourth gun leader squad aiming up for four gun leaders. One MD42 could very well be a TFP rush that Caesar is planning versus his adversary, Ragnar. We got the gun leaders versus the conscripts here. Shots being exchanged, hitting the curve point there. Very nice counter move there by Ragnar before retreating. Though, with all the other points secured, it doesn't matter too much. And there you go, more troops with Paul here, but MD42 nice position before Caesar switches up again. Excellent work there. A good play always keeps you on his machine gun sort of uh, shifting about, or at least never in the same place for long, so that way it becomes harder to flank and counter. And we can see this anticipating opponent going to try and move out. This is going to try and move the MD4 to deal with that. A bit risky if he's going to end up saying the MD4 to come. He does it. He does it. Does Ragnar expect he should have seen it, but he doesn't. Oh, the MD4 to have conscripts in negative cover. Heavy losses inflicted. One squad falls back. The other one seems to be moving here. In, in the south, Gunnar's versus depleted conscripts. That's going to be win there for season unless something goes horribly wrong, RNG wise. Hitting the northern victory point, harassing points in the south here. Ragnar sneaks up behind Caesar's front lines. As the MP4 to reposition against it up and defend the curve point again, anticipating a move from here. Really sharp instinct there from Caesar, really sharp. And he's going for a second MP4. Dude, that's four Gunners, two MP42s. That is a tier three rush. It has to be. Otherwise, Caesar's drinking pretty hard at the moment and really should consider an intervention. Comes there, been charging to the Gunners here, taking some damage, but the Gunners alone helps. So they might not be able to hold off against the Russians. 
Cuff one hit again there. Hitting the northern point. Machine gun repositioning once more. Caesar is just on the ball with that MG42. Absolutely sterling work. Whew. Quite intense stuff too. As for Ragnar, we got nothing further. He's just trying to deal here with this roaming machine gun, which is really just putting pressure on Ragnar. But you can also he's just trying to avoid it at the same time, trying to find spots where he can just sort of pour through and hit. And this is just excellent work there by Ragnar. Excellent work. MD Fortress might have finally been caught in a bad spot here, but even then managed to suppress the conscripts and hold them. You know, Fritz, maybe you should actually consider changing the barrels. I mean, I, I sort of realized you never actually changed the barrels on these MD 42s, so technically, they are supposed to. Yes, that is funny. They never actually do change the barrels on these things. Comes to listening up, they've got Gunnar moving in without some more superior firepower. Might not quite got. He doesn't have the rifle grenade either, and he doesn't have access to G for the freeze. But there we go, we got the taken for Caesar. And before we joining him, number two at the same time, setting up put pin here on the other car point, defending the southern field. I mean, Caesar is really just laying down some top notch Vyama playing the early game. We got a motor on the way there, though, for Ragnar. His troops being repulsed there by the fuel point in the east. Mortar halfway down there for Ragnar. That's going to help counter Caesar's machine guns, either through direct bombardments or by smoke screens, ensuring the MD42s can't see or shoot. But Ragnar here's been cut off for most of the resources by Caesar, and we got the mortar there for Ragnar. PM4182. And we got Flamefoes out here, though, flanking the MD42. We could see a wipe, we could see a wipe. That would be critical. That'd be a big win there for Ragnar. If we were able to wipe Caesar's machine gun and steal it. Oh! He's not moving in the console to increase the accuracy of anything. Oh, gets a press just barely. That was a close shave there for Caesar. He almost lost his MP42 there to Ragnar. That would have been pretty big. And I imagine Ragnar there might have felt a pang of frustration as that last man managed to escape his socialist grasp. Machine gun already repositioning. No, there's a mortar about that. He tries his best to avoid it. We can see there's Caesar. Ragnar sees it. Tries to show to deal with it. Finding around the car point again. Just Caesar is relentless. He's just using all the raw numbers he just put in the field. Just hit uh, Ragnar relentlessly. Just moving about. They're using the machine guns hyper aggressively. That is some heavy confidence there from Caesar in his machine gun skills. And it's definitely not something that recommends a sort of uh, new place. Holy smokes. Direct hit on the MD42. Wiping it. Good lord. That's actually kind of good there for Ragnar. Even if can recruit, can recruit, that's still a gun. Idea squad's been pushed off the field. Holy. Oh, Deer's going to get another wipe here. MD42, though, might manage any time. No, he gets the wipe. He gets the wipe. That's an MD42 cleared out and a gun. Idea squad wipe. That's two units now off the field for some time. That's going to give Ragnar here some good time to put your head there. We can see the Caesar's replacing it. He's clearly aiming for the tier 3 rush. He's just going to go for medics and then he's going to, at some point, go for the support on McCall. But that was reasonably good there for Ragnar. That's reasonably good. Plus, he's brought out his own machine gun as well. Still, he's got now some time to move ahead to try and sort of just push the field against Caesar. But we can see Caesar is just really aggressive setting in the machine guns again. I mean, he is very confident in his machine gun play here and can sort of set up correctly without running into infantry. So, that is some sterling work there, inspirational even. Medic banker up there for Caesar. Comes to the versus pioneers. We've got Maxim and Mortify going on in the center. Mortar, they're falling back a bit rapidly. Hitting the northern field point, finding around the southern field point. Tank Batang come out up here, Ragnar. He could push for a half tank. Come out, tank for the T70. Samex on the northern field point, very good. See, so it's not a bit more struggling here to maintain the pace of Ragnar after those few losses. They really just gave Ragnar sort of the potential to, so I think, just push tempo against Caesar. And he's just not letting up either. I mean, these are two aggressive players, and they know what they want to do. Tank Batang come out almost up. Can't continue the fight here. Mortar on the way for Caesar. So he's going to have four gun of these, two MD42s, and a mortar. No like to make a nice company whatsoever. No sign of take up either yet. More MD42 strings in the max, and they keep quickly losing Yoga in there to a few shot, well placed bursts through his helmet. Mortar also joining in there, the fun. Mortar almost done there for Caesar. Almost got the Gnard never hitting the fuel point here, and these covering, but they can't quite hit. And up here, Conscripts are fine repulse from the northern fuel point. Healing there going on. No sign of the half track for Ragnar. 
it's more likely to be a T-70, but he's really worried about his opponent pulling out any sort of armor. He could go for the S-26. I mean, obviously, he's at this point anticipating, I think, a tier 3 rush. But, of course, the question is who feels like he can get ahead of it, or he just has to sort of prepare directly for it. That's going to be an interesting sort of thing to see how uh, sort of Ragnar and makes his way out of that one, if he can. Modified against the comes getting a quick kill. Gonna do falling back here, Light Machine Gun clenched tightly in the hands. Now the player yet really committing to a doctrine. Continuing Mortify here, and Gunners moving for the North Gunners are being shot at. Well, they're also doing the best to shoot back. One Gunners got reports, they'll have to retreat soon as well. They got the Gunners with the Flame Force, can really do some heavy damage to the Gunners while they're staking to heavy cover. And there you go, Ragnar decides he's less worried about enemy armor as he wants to just push an advantage. Now it goes for the T-70 feeling possibly confident you could do it with field guns so bold maneuver here by Arachna bold maneuver you'll have to see if it backfires on him or not but he's certainly struggling here with Caesar's aggressive maneuvers and again he's just constantly looking to maneuvers opponents sort of flank hit and strike I mean this is just Caesar is on fire like Rome except not actually on fire and no people named Nero are involved, as far as I know. I mean, it could be he sees as a really great friend called Nero, or calls himself Nero online. A lot of Mortify there. Comes with it taking several nasty hits there. md 42 is penning him down around the center. But there we go, we got the T-70 out there. Almost got another gun to the squad here. Goes for the one md 42 here. Caesar's only now first begun taking up, which is a chance that the T-70 could do enough damage to Rat or to Caesar that it could have sort of give Rat more momentum again. But those double MD-42s have proven to be highly effective for Caesar and have really done a lot for him just helping control the match against Rat so far. Troop ceiling being forced, he needs to fix up the T-70 fast. Heading points left and right, we got the Gunnity Sink from the south, pushing back a country support there. Pretty risky sort of set up there, but he's got probably a good feel there for where the uh, MD4 to his The problem is the mechs would get suppressed, the engineers could also risk getting suppressed themselves. There you go, he just does enough to fix the engine on the T70. Nothing less, nothing more. Only the absolute most needed here for Ragnar. But this leaking oil, don't worry, this is oil of socialism. It will not ignite fire unless you turn fascist. Trust me, comrades. I'm north here, can't continue to fight around the fuel pond there, trying to desperately gain it back to the farm. There you go, teasing rolling into the Gunnadiers, engaging up close, trying to threaten with a white pit. Doesn't quite work there, Caesar gets off the Pantophiles first before retreating. He's gonna need to get the engineers back, the true pet, but they're being basically being suppressed by an MD42 there from Caesar, who's yet to go for Doctrin. He's yet to build up his support McCall either. Certainly a crazy fight here. Caesar has yet to go for Doctrin alongside Ragnar. Troops are reinforcing healing. T sending falling back. Troops heading for the fuel point there. Gifting the machine gun about again, other machine gun moving up. He could run straight to the Kranzka squad. That'd be a bit of fortune there for Caesar. And he hits retreat immediately. Up north, Kranzka is going to do this there. Hitting the southern fuel point. T-70 still awaiting repairs desperately. And Ragnar goes here for the C-3 field gun. Knowing there's likely to be some Bacchus tanks inbound soon. And we can see the Spormer Corps up for Caesar. He's going to go for the Panzer IV. He's going to go for that Panzerkampfwagen. Up north, conscripts rogue finding here for the fuel point. The Gunnadiers desperately lay down everything with a light machine gun as poor Friedrich there drops dead. Nego changes to the south, T-70 fixed up again. Maximum current the center victory point as he tries to seize it. Conscripts pushed off to the south there, but the MD4 do gonna do a combo assault. T-70's engine is good to go again, and he immediately sends out again. And just as soon as the engine is fixed. Ratner does not waste any time. He gets that T-70 moving. And there you go. Pantophiles again. The Pantophiles range here alongside, I believe it's Vecchi 2. Does help a bunch there. And allows him to just Pantophiles the T-70 from much further away. Which makes it hard here for Ratner to find a safe spot. And there you go. And send Yama Pizza around first. The T-70 as well here. Ganista being slowly shredded by the T-70. But the T-70 is slowly being filled with holes like a seam. Up here, 
continued fighting there. Pushed off the fuel again. Caesar's got an iron clenched fist around the fuel points, controlling them for the fatherland. And Shane's not, the Russians do not get any precious fuel for their tanks. Panzerfall there just arriving here for Caesar, fresh from reserves to support the 10th Panzer Division's assault. As Ragnar and the 213th Rifle Division continues to desperately fling themselves at Caesar's machine guns. The press again, even if he's presenting up, presenting there we go. Caesar's going to sneak in, he's going to take a slightly longer route home to sort of set up the retreat path. And Ragnar here goes for Gart Rifle. There'll probably be some Gart, but he could have gone for it sooner, plus some sight machine guns, but. Uh, at the same time, with the same more pressure there, he might have considered he might want other options, but still, I think comes with some units earlier. Probably could have had a good impact here as a Caesar at times. Either way, though, they have bigger fish to fry, in this case, bigger panzers to knock out as the Panzer IV arrives, and Ragnar's only got a C3 to, you know, put any sort of serious souls into that thing. Pin down right before we can get off the Panzer first, and it is almost wiped there. He's coming up to try and counter the T-70 field. Gonna need to turn back to work. Got the conscripts ready. No submachine is ever right now. He's saying got a lot of munitions. Might be he's planning here for an IL-2 stomach attack to somehow turn the tide against Caesar. Got the Panther IV rolling in there, turning its turret, shooting at the Russians, running straight in before two there being suppressed. Up north, countrymen there against pioneers. Mortar on the way there for Ragnar. Second mortar. He's going to aim there for artillery dominance versus Caesar. That way, home to maybe get some wipes more. And also pushing the support weapons further back. And just across the southern field point, we can see that Caesar launches another counterattack. Supported by an MD42 Grenadiers. Tracked across the mashy field. My god, this is muck. It's filthy. Yeah, but it's muck. What are you expecting, Jürgen? Well, I don't know. Something nicer. <sighs> He's on the counterattack, secures the fuel point there, saves it from the vile fascist invaders. Going to be here with Panzer IV support, striking Norfolk's, lunging ahead like a bayonet. Right at the heart of Marxism. And there, going before two, they're being pushed back with the T-70 light tank, getting some good hits there. Eventually two, in fact, that's pretty good there for Ragnar. Panzer IV in there, Maxim's mortars, and we got the fuel here ready as well. Ragnar seems a lot more combat able now, however, as the Caesar is struggling a bit more as the T-70 has just sort of pushed things ahead. Plus, increased in support weapons is not helping, I think, Caesar out a lot either. Good hit in the Panzer IV. We got Vetri 3 here on Caesar's mortar already. Russian mortars, though, are hammering away. Counterattack in the north with the two gunner deer squads there. Continues to hit M42, they're being repulsed. Almost taken out here by the mortar mission T70. But barely escapes. We can see the Caesar decides to prioritize the field gun as his major threat here. Definitely not a bad choice, though he does find his mortar spotted by the Titan light tank and some other things. So, in this case, a small piece of rock is protecting the mortar. The mort mort rock would later be awarded a small medal by the German army. And to tank grenades from the rack for Ratten here to help deal with the armor. Slow down, making an easy target with the Panzer IV. Very good work here. Gun that is MD42 tank south of into the conscripts. Still no sight machine to again. I really think he's just trying to bank everything on the uh, IL-2 storm strafes. They're just really turning this hard against uh, Caesar. Caesar and the Emo can soon go for another Panzer unless he's thinking he wants to go tier 4. Caesar there close to the training in the market. yet to choose a doctrine. And a uh, small chance of getting wiped from the Gunnadiers. They're retreating right past the T-70. Vetsu 2. Those living nearby as well. This is looking actually pretty bad. There we go. That could be a wipe. That could be a wipe. And there you go, gonna discord white and there you go, Isle 2 strafe in the center. That was exactly what Rackman was waiting for, though it seems a bit premature here. Seems a bit premature. Still, it did four seas away from the center. Constantly engaged by the Panzer IV. Half the squad dead. There's the Panzer IV unleashes the high goes around into the midst. T7 is gonna do this here. Fritz runs ahead. Don't worry, I got this! I got this! And then half the squad is dead. Flair goes off, they're killing one machine gun crew member. We got the more troops rushing down here. Right now, I think, might be saving up for the next tier. Trying to try and either push for K1s or T Fed Force versus Caesar. He's just put up his second Panzer IV. Nope, right now, he's going for the Eastern 6 first. Probably a sensible idea, actually. 
to help counter some all of Caesar's armor. Seizing the points here. He got the T seven moving in. There he goes straight into the MG forty two within ten yards of his mounts, but at this range. The penetration team would that be somewhat low, giving the T-Sun a good chance of wiping it. So, uh, seems like once more fortune favours the German machine gun crew there. We got the Pentafall, the blitzing through here, straight to the Sys-3. Suffering heavy damage in the process. Now the Pentafall, the strikes Norfolk's repulsing here, right, and as mortar crews, we got the s 6 m out. Victory points wise is definitely here for C's, but Ratner is definitely doing his best to catch up. Quick hit there, issue 6, constantly moving in. If we can get a damage off in one of the Panzer Force, that would help out. Pioneer shouting forwards there, go get it from the 6 on the Panzer Four. Close to half health there. Some pretty intense stuff here, continue goes on between Caesar and Ragnar. They haven't really been sort of late. Playing now and just get a much of a breather for any sort of prolonged period of time, like maybe a few seconds before you know either player launches a vicious assault on the other bastard. Bet on your 3T70, that's really bad news for Caesar. That has a very good chance now of hitting stuff and wiping units on the tree. Right, so Caesar, nothing further going on. There's still no doctrine. On this stage, you'd almost think he's gonna either hit Lightning Wolf for Tiger Tank or Lightning Wolf for the Tiger Tank. It just doesn't seem like there's much else you can choose there. That make a lot of sense and it's most of the other doctrines are more geared for early mid game whereas this one which is where it currently is is much more helpful in late game now there's even six out there for Ragnar sandbags being tossed up there in a pile of dirt gonna do the same Norfords AK troops healing reinforcing signature six almost done Got troops being forced into the conscripts aim before setting up their bets in the free ballet. Good work there by Caesar. Ooh, almost got a full the Rough grenade, and there's a good chance of finishing them off, but no! Pushkin and Dimitri manage to escape here the wrath of the Wehrmacht for now. Second year six almost done there for Ragnar. Edge six out. I believe we got the T-70 getting the gun. It is here firing with its 45 minute gun. 13 kills. <laughs> Trying to get close enough, but doesn't quite succeed. We got troops moving about here. And. Panther 4 setting out. Strain to the Eastern 6. M. Great penetrating hit here. We got continuing with an advancing pioneer squad here. Another penetrating hit. Near straight into the Panzer IV, repulsed. There, Kit Scripps, enemy in force, got the Panzer IV moving in. Contra, they've been caught in a bit of a bad spot here by the Panzer IV, going to be supporting. Ragnar's got another air strafe ready here to deal with any fascist troops. The and there you go, before Tom Dumont have their artillery fire of the Ocean 6, and down it goes. Betchen is 24 2 lost there for Caesar, and he sold his short, then going to be there as well, which he has not replaced. Things are starting to look a bit more rough here for Caesar as his. Plans begin seeming a bit more nebulous, a bit less clear. The lack of a dodge in this front of the game, I think, is not doing Caesar any amazing favors either. He's going for the Ospin now, which is an interesting choice in some ways, and less amazing choice than a bunch of others. Like, he's better off just going for another Panzer IV. He's been taking out for a Sturm Panzer in this situation, I think. Or getting more troops, or choosing a dodge and setting up for a Tiger tank. Like, there's just. So many options there, and I feel like the Ospin is probably one of the weaker ones. In this situation, anyways. Pants will stick for the Mortis exposed field, and they couldn't quite get a hit. Rising tape for the Assault Gun, you see that Seas caught Rat and hit completely off guard, quite successfully. Pants fast off. H6 means this is the Panzer 4. Other Panzer almost down, but he lost one H6 hit damage engine, maybe on the Panzer 4. If he can get off an anti tank, and he does not. Air support called in to deal with the Gunnadies out in the open. He's going to lose both H and Sixes, I think. Oh dear, this is pretty bad. Damn it's Engine. 
And he didn't get either Panzer IV here. There we go. Both HM6s down. Field gun moving in. Finding more to wipe. T-Cent good to go here. Metzny 2 on the Panzer IV. This is pretty bad here for Ragnar. Pretty bad. Going for another one. All he's got here now to deal with the armor is a Sis 3 until the HM6 arrives. T7 moving about. <coughs> HM6 almost done. We got a T7 sniping at the mortar crew. Got a kill there. Well, that's a very good attack of C, so they're basically taking advantage of Ragnar's not screening his uh, northern half of their base efficiently well, allowing him to base rush in the Panther Force. But he might lose the Panther Force here. He might go down. Looks like he's going to be dead. Bring in the season to finish it off here. We can get off the hit. And there he goes, Sis 3 finishes it off, destroying Caesar's Vecchini 2 Panzer 4. Got the armor wing and field gun exposed. Need to get the F6M in from a good angle so it doesn't get Panther fast. So it just easily made a target for the Panther 4. 200 points left here for Ragnar. And then there we go. Bit of a problem here. Truth being suppressed from Maxim. F6 is trying to deal with the Ospin here, which is dealing with the conscripts. And there you go, running at the Panther 4, going for the T-70. I think he's trying to bait the Panther 1 to the Eastern 6 lines of fire here. It seems like in this case, Caesar doesn't quite take the bait, though he's actually close to doing so. Offspring new repairs, no further armor here for Caesar, I think any tag up, still no doctrine either. Send the Ocean 6 there. And then decides not to. I'm guessing Ratner's going to just go for another Ocean 6. There's still the potential of taking up and going against the medium armor. He's actually got control of both fuel points now, which is good for him. That's good for Caesar, though Caesar's still got plenty of fuel to work with. And there you go, another Ocean 6 for Ragnar and a 213th rival division. We got more conditions for Caesar is now beginning to suffer some losses in that department. He's probably going to recruit a Sis 3, which is definitely going to be needed versus the armor. Though again, he's brought down Caesar's numbers somewhat, and Caesar just doesn't tag at all. I'm really curious about that. Hitting the northern victory point even as Ragnar makes a run for the southern one. And there you go. Ospin finds up the target the Asian 6 ends of Wrath. Fire pit drop fire! Where? Just aim at it. Either it penetrates or doesn't. That's about how good this gun is. And there you go. Jump tanks range to the Vetri 3T70, which just unleashes hell there. And there you go. Pantherful flanking straight to the Sis 3, though. And got Asian 6 opening up as well. Another hit there, Panther 1, a really bad spot here for Caesar. We got a Stug on the way now, realizing things are going to be die. He goes for the stronger shots. And there you go, Osman is now the target here again. Down to less than half health there, Stug almost done for Caesar. And we can see there, Rack now setting his sights on the Infantry Company, destroying it and denying Caesar's source of grenadiers or mortars or snipers. Plus a reinforcement point that's a bit closer to the front line, so destroying that is a pretty good move there for Ragnar. Pretty good move. Caesar though continues to just remain doctrine-less. Mortar though got wiped here. There seems like there's less experienced mortar crew here. They got the one the one veteran you see there with 14 kills. Stu rolling back. And he got the medic bunker as well. Nice work there, but right now he's just demolishing Caesar's base piece by piece. We can see these force now to build the medic bunker further into his base. He 
just try and protect it from uh, raids like that from Ragnar. Third edition, six on the way there for Ragnar. Third one. See, so here, 30 minutes of the game still hasn't chosen a doctor. A lone panther force is out. Fritz, yeah, shouldn't he wait for the infantry? Who needs infantry? It's not like what makes the German army great doing. Oh, well, I'm sure we'll be fine. Fixing out the Austrians, Stu's moving in. We got some infantry finally following up here for the Panzer IV. Strange to assist you though. Brick pensioning hit. But still no doctrine for Caesar. Still no doctrine. I mean, they could all offer them some kind of infantry, either via relief infantry, via Austrian reserves, or you know, the A command squad. Of course, there's a slight issue. He's actually lost access to his Panzerfaust, which you actually get from the infantry company. So if you lose your infantry company, you lose your ability to use Panzerfausts. So there's a bit of a sort of a see, sneaky side effect when destroying the infantry company, which most people actually don't consider. Stu got almost taken out here, though, by Ragnar, and the Austrian's not doing too well either. Caesar really needs to flank, but. Whatever spirit that sort of compelled him to flank seems to have been lost here. He's just suffering setback after setback. He's now just more determined to just beat it for raw force, but that's only to Ragnar's advantage. At this stage, he's just set himself up for dealing with such attacks. So what will Caesar do? What will Caesar do to try and turn this around? Not a lot, it seems, since he just now keeps attacking head on. I mean, he's just more or less conceded most of the map. He'd just be able to attack across this much smaller frontage, which is massively to Ragnar's advantage. We can see another Sugan later for Caesar. Another Sturmgeschutz. Caesar is spotting your head. Hey, Sergei, are you seeing anything out there? No, just lots of dirt. Maybe some fascists. You know, nothing important. Oh, yes, that is important. That's what you're up there to look for. Oh, well, in that case, I definitely saw some. And he's going for another edition six. We can see just Ragnar just himself just destroys Caesar's head on attacks. I mean, this is just really punishing for Caesar's tactics, which again, seeing him just evolve from flanks and all that, just rushing head on. He's just giving a blitzkrieg, the promise. It's just so much saturation, and the way he set them up makes it hard for him to just completely armor him. But there you go. Got one edition six. They're very good work by Caesar. Very good work. Oh, this is moving in. He could lose the Stook here. Almost got it, almost got it. Panther flanking the other six dukes moving in. Mm, except not. Lost one. Honestly, now arriving. He's got one of six, there's still three to deal with, plus a T7, and this is three. And he's down to just one Stug and Ospin and a Panzer four, largely. Flanking the Asian six, he needs to turn the other round to deal with it. Panzer four bypassed, there's six shoots there, almost moving in. Shot bounced off the Panther four's armor. And almost got it. There we go. Gets one, but there you go. Panther 4 takes a little pencil and hit it from the 6. His infantry's not able to follow up. Stuke moving in. Panther 4 almost down. Stuke rushing forwards. Ah, oh, this is a complete mess here for Caesar. Still no charge of Darkton. Austin moving in to try and do some damage to the support weapons. Stuke down. Stuke kaput. And the Panther 4 drives right past the point right line of the essence of the Sis 3 and gets knocked out as well. Leaving Caesar now completely and utterly crippled. I think this is largely GG. And down the Austrian goes, it's just down to three gun rear squads, a pioneer machine gun and a mortar. And there you go, GG game over. A loss for the Wehrmacht, the 10th Panzer Schoen here was defeated by the 213th Rifle Division, a brutal battle that was heavy on losses, in particular for Ratner in the early games, able to slowly turn around here, as he then I think committed too much, just making head on attacks, perhaps overconfidence, perhaps something else, all the way Ratner's then able to destroy him using his own sixes in the field guns. Really tough battle, really close at times, it certainly really looked like Ratner was losing, and the early games able to just slowly but surely pull through, and when beating Caesar, rather sound. Some excellent play the rank. Also excellent play from Caesar in the early game. But again, as the game went on, where's you know all the good flanking went off? Who knows? But he sort of just vanished from that, and a lot of his chances also went up the drain as well. The lack of a doctrine, I think, did not help Caesar either. So there's definitely some room for improvement there. 
But there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. Hope you learned something from it. If you did, want to subscribe to the friends. Or share it with everyone. If not, in the new plan, I'll provide some feedback in the comment section. This is Imperial Dane signing off. And see you all another time for another video. Cheers.